Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another... Hey, what are you doing? What's that? Don't you even think of that? In this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be setting up our user interface. So that will be our score, which we're going to put in the top right corner, and our lives that we're going to put in our top left corner. So let's start this. Now to do it, we're going to go up to File, and we're going to open a new scene. Now once you've got your new scene, it'll automatically put a camera in it. We don't want a camera in this scene, because we're going to essentially overlap this scene on top of our other scene. So we're going to delete the main camera. And what we're going to do is, instead, we're going to go to our hierarchy, we're going to right click, we're going to go down to UI, and we're going to add a canvas. So what the canvas lets us do is it lets us create an overlay on the screen with, that you can't actually see. So I want to rename my canvas, my user interface. And then I'm going to right click on the user interface. I'm going to go down to UI and I'm going to create a text. Right, so the text default position is the center of the screen. Uh, you can't see it here because it's a really dark color. If we set it to white, right, you can see right there it says new text. So I want to set its color back by pressing Control Z and I'm going to move its position. So I want this in our top right hand corner. To do that, I'm going to click on the rectangular transform over here. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and then I'm going to set it to the top right hand corner. Alright, so now that you've done that, you can see that it has new text up in this top right corner. Now, this is going to be our score, so I'm going to change the text variable to score. I'm going to set it to 99 for now. Alright, just because uh, our score, or my score, is not going to go past three digits, and I just want to make sure that I can see this at all times. So now that's here, uh, it's a little bit high, I want to move it down a little bit, so I'm going to go to my pause Y, and I'm going to set that to negative 20. Alright, you can see it's created a bit of a gap there. Alright, and then for my X, I'm going to set that to 0. Right, I'm pretty happy with where that there is. So I'm going to rename this from text to score. And that's all I'm going to do with this for now. I'm pretty happy with where that sits. So now I'm going to go back to my user interface. I'm going to right click on it again. I'm going to go down to UI. And this time I'm going to add an image. So you can see here it automatically gives you the size of the image to 100 100. I think that's a little bit big. I'm going to try setting it to 20 by 20. I'm much happier with that. Now this I want to move up to my top left. So I'm going to do the same thing we did with score. I'm going to click on the transform. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to click on the top right. All right, so now it's in the top right. Pretty happy with that, but I want to move it down a little bit and in a little bit. So I'm going to set this to minus 20 again. That feels like it's a little bit too far. All right, minus 15, pretty happy with that. So then on the x-axis, I'm going to set it to the same thing, 15 in. And this is going to be my first image that I'm going to use for my lives. So I'm going to call this uh, heart one. Now I'm going to select my heart one and I'm going to duplicate it twice. So the first, the second one, I'm going to call heart two, and the last one I'm going to call heart three. So now that we've got these, I'm going to select heart two and I'm going to move it on the x-axis. Uh, let's try setting it to 30. 30 is not very good. Let's try 40. I'm pretty happy with 40. So then get a heart 3. Alright, 60 is still pretty close. 65 looks pretty good. I'm really happy with how they are. So now I've got these three boxes. I need a sprite that's going to act as my heart. Now to do that, I've attached a sprite sheet to this video. Uh, once you've downloaded it, all you need to do is navigate to wherever you downloaded it, click on it, 
and then drag it into your sprites folder in Unity. And so once you've done that, you'll see it'll come up as the name of the file, heart icon. Hopefully, when you click on it, if you go up to texture type, it comes up as sprite 2D and UI. All right, if it's done that, what we can do is we can go to our heart one, and we can drag our heart icon over the source image. All right, you can see there that that's become that, and we can do that for heart two, and again for heart three. So now we've got our three lives and we've got our score. So what we need to do is we need to save this scene. So you go File, Save. You need to navigate to your Scenes folder. Right, and I'm going to call this my user interface. And so once you've saved that, we're going to go back to our original scene, which will more than likely be called Sample Scene. So in my Scenes folder, double click on sample scene that brings us back to our game so what we want to do now is we want to load our user interface on top of our sample scene to that we're going to need a game object so I'm going to go to hierarchy right click create empty and I'm going to call this my UI loader and so uh, we need to add some script in order to load it on top. So we go add component and we're going to add a flow machine. Now I'm not going to make a macro for this one because I'm only ever going to use this on the UI loader. So instead I'm going to embed. All right. And I'm going to use the start event. So I'm going to delete my update. And all I want this to do is when the game starts, I want it to load this scene user interface as an additive to this scene that we're currently in. So if I drag off the start event and I type in uh, load scene, All right, I want to use the scene name and the mode. Alright, so the first thing we're going to change is the mode. We don't want this to be a single scene. We're going to add, do this as an additive. So you will add the scene on top. And the scene name is the scene that we're looking for. User interface. And there's one more thing we need to do before this becomes usable. Is we need to add our user interface into our build. To do that, you go up to File. You go down to Build Settings. And as you can see here, it'll automatically have your sample scene in it. So we need to click and drag our user interface into our build. Alright, so once it's in there, we can close this. You don't need to build or build and run. You just need to close it. And if we press play, it should load this scene on top. And we should get our three hearts and our score. So we press play now. Right, and there it is, you can see your lives and we can see our score. So in the next video, we're going to set up so that if we die or fall off the edge, right, we lose a life. And then if we fall off the edge, if we have run out of lives, right, uh, we will set it up so that it comes up to a you lose screen. That's it for now, ladies and gents. See you guys in the next video.